Hello, it's Lisa. Welcome to Mom Imperfect. I am going to start a health journey 2023, day one. So I'm changing it up a little bit now that it's 2023. I was doing Sexenda for the last, since mid-August. I lost about 25 pounds. And now I ran out of Sexenda, so I'm gonna try to do it on my own, keep getting healthier without it. I have zero confidence that my body will let weight, let go of weight on its own. <laughs> I am, I'm having a little bit of anxiety about it, maybe a lot of anxiety about it, but I'm gonna try. Okay, so my goal for 2023 is like my before picture today, the January 1st picture compared to my December 31st picture of 2023. You can see a difference and you can tell that I worked on my health for the year and that I made big improvements, that's my goal. The Lisa in a year is going to look much healthier than Lisa right now. But I want to focus on habit goals and not result goals. So I don't have a goal weight or goal size or anything like that. I have like a diet goal and a water goal and an exercise goal. And I'm going to break these down like month by month because I don't want to get too ahead of myself and I want to give myself like flexibility to change the plan if the plan needs to be changed or it's not working or whatever. So for January, my goals are I want to drink two and a half liters of water a day. So I got this like old orange juice jug. It's been working well for me uh, in the last couple weeks. So that's what I'm doing for water because I think that's in, an important health uh, step that I struggle with a lot is keeping up water consumption. The second goal is diet. So I'm going to try to work on in 2023 getting my diet to look like the Mediterranean diet. So I'm eating mostly off this Mediterranean diet plan that my doctor has given me. And it's like a huge thing. I think for me, anyways, the biggest struggle is overhauling the whole diet and getting it in my mind like the American diet that we're used to eating is complete garbage for the most part and I need to get that whole style of eating out of my head and change it to this, <laughs> which is going to be a huge undertaking. So I'm just going to do it like baby steps at a time because I want, I don't want to yo-yo. I'm so tired of like, so, like, um, you know up and down, up and down, and failure. So, the first thing I'm gonna focus on, which I think for me is the most important problem or whatever to target is the sugar consumption. So this diet plan says I should be eating six teaspoons or less of processed sugar a day. So that's my target for January. Just focus on eating six teaspoons of processed sugar or less, which is, might be like the whole, might take me the whole year, might take me my whole lifetime to get, I don't know how long that's gonna take, but that's the first thing I need to focus on. Also, if you don't know anything about my health journey already, I am insulin resistant, with, insulin resistant which is like, you know, on the way to diabetes, so, yeah, that's also why that's kind of my main target is the sugar because that's my health, my biggest health problem. And it shows in my body, in my lab results. The other thing I want to be doing, like obviously, looking at this diet, trying to focus on like uh, fruits and veggies because in the Mediterranean diet, it says like I need to have at least four servings of fruit and four servings of veggies a day and there's no like limit to, to that there's not a maximum per day so i think it's good for me to focus you know on eating lots of fruits and veggies and then um yeah everything else kind of has like limits like a min and max so then yeah i'll loosely kind of try to follow that meal plan but mostly for now what I really want to focus on is the sugar consumption. 
and lastly, my exercise goal, which is going to be also very tricky. Also very tricky for me because I am not used to exercising ever. It's not just, it's not something that I have in my daily routine, but it's something that I want to get into my daily routine. And I feel like for my mental health and for my self-worth and for my body image and all of that, it would just be good to get it in that I'm doing that daily. And um, that is not necessarily going to probably result in weight loss right away. But hopefully eventually it helps me start looking more healthy and helps regulate blood sugars and insulin and all that because I think that technically that's supposed to be helping. So anyway, my uh, exercise goal <laughs> is I want to do like half an hour of exercise five days a week. I have a fitness app on my phone now, which is called Has Fitness, which stands for Heart and Soul Fitness. And it has like programs and like, you know, like it has workouts and you can watch their workouts on YouTube for free, but they have like workout plans and what you should be doing every day. And they have like a beginner's workout and you know, it builds itself up and they got lots of programs on there for like, you know, a years and years probably I could be on that thing. So that's what I'm going to start with. And they, I'm going to start with their like super basic, easiest level, which I think is two weeks long. And then I'm going to go into their, like, I think that's like a jump start something. I'm going to start that. And then I'm, after that, I'm going to go into like the beginner level fitness. And then, you know, I want it to be like, not at all intimidating for me so I will stick to it and get better because I do have in my you know my dreams I do always wish I could be more toned or fit so yeah I'm gonna work on that because I'm tired of just wishing it and not doing anything about it ever so that is my goals for 2023 starting in January I hope it goes okay like I said I am super nervous about putting all this effort into it and my body just not letting go of the weight because I don't trust my body to let go of the weight from the last two and a half experience uh, from the last two and a half years two and a half years of experience of struggling with weight loss and it never letting go and like feeling You know, I don't know, like, I don't know if this is too dramatic, but like feeling betrayed by my body because it like didn't lose any weight after pregnancy where I feel like it should have. And why is it holding on to weight? And I'm just so angry and I have no trust for my body and blah, blah, blah. Can I have it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's difficult. It's going to be difficult, I think, in that way, mentally to like trust the process when I feel like the process hasn't worked in the past <laughs> but there's more to health than just the number on the scale and I am at a point after losing 25 pounds or like I, I'm okay with super super slow weight loss as long as there's some progress which I hope there is which so uh, like I said at the beginning, I don't have a like a goal weight. I guess I don't have a specific goal weight, but a healthy BMI for me is 150. That's the top, and I'm at 200 and whatever. Okay, I'm I'm at 207 pounds today. Though I just did do, do New New Year's, so that might be a little high for what I actually am. Last week I was mostly two, around 202, but anyways, we're gonna call it 207 pounds. I did my measurements, I'm gonna do my before picture, and I'm gonna write my measurements on it, and then every month I will um, update weight and measurements. I think once a month will be fine, because like I said, the focus is not the scale. The focus like for me is like, the healthy habits just for the sake of healthy habits and being healthier and feeling better 
and I feel like the scale is not a true picture and all of that, but you know, that easier that's easier to say than to believe maybe because <laughs> I do still struggle with the scale a lot. I still struggle with the scale a lot, but but okay, that's maybe it. So I'm gonna do the before picture. Like I said, I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna put the starting weight, I'm gonna put the starting measurements, and then every month I will update it, and then we'll see what I look like in December. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping I will see a difference. I'm hoping I will feel healthy. I'm hoping I can stick to a plan. I'm hoping I can get consistency. I believe I can do it, right? I can I can be consistent in habits. I can choose hard now, so I don't have to choose hard later, like getting diabetes. You know, that's a worse hard. And lastly, I'm not against starting Sixenda at any point in this journey. I'm not against restarting Sixenda. I'm just gonna stop it now because I ran out and I don't have a, I don't have any money right now to buy more. <laughs> I want to just focus on healthy habits for the sake of health and not worry so much about the weight now. I want to shift. I'm kind of shifting. My mind is kind of shifting to that already anyways. And I guess the other thing with this extended is I'm at 1.2 and it's not seeming to do well. But then I went up to 1.8 and then I felt too sick. I felt like, well, whatever. I felt too nauseous and I don't want my quality of life to go down just to be skinny so I want to try to do I think this way if I can lose weight this way it's a better way but sometimes the better way is not possible you know like when I was doing this like 25 pounds ago it just was not possible and I could never get it to work and I could never stick to consistency because I was not getting any results and results are motivating and when you got when you're getting nowhere it's so frustrating and you get it inside your head and all of that and you just cannot or I could just not be consistent when there was no results. So I'm feeling like I'm hoping that I'm at a better place now, that I'm down 25 pounds, that I feel more like I can be consistent and be more patient with how the progress is going and all of that. Anyway, okay. Happy New Year. I, yeah, I'm excited to hear your guys' uh, New Year's plans for 2023, and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.